Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide is an interesting one. Let me show it to you. Wow, here we go. And the reason I selected the slider, how it came to me, is because Seth Godin on his blog called this the, and I, his quote, worst PowerPoint slide ever used by a CEO. And it got selected as one of what PC World uh, listed last week as the top eight worst slides ever. Now, is it, is it really one of the top eight worst slides? I'm not sure of that. But I can tell you it's got a lot of stuff that's going on here. And, and that's actually why it's not effective, because it's way too busy. There's a ton going on here. There's multiple concepts that they're trying to talk about. And unfortunately, like many slides, they take complex diagrams, con concepts, and put them all on the same slide. And unfortunately, what happens is the person presenting may walk up to the slide and try to point to it or use a laser pointer. And there's so many arrows, there's so many things going on here, it's really hard to understand why any of this is important to, to you as an audience member. In my makeover today, what I've done is I've taken this slide and broke it down so we can hopefully more uh, easily understand what's going on and why it's important to you. I think ultimately what they want to do is to talk about why it's important to have this hybrid process library which is the, the little graphic in the top right corner there and how that ultimately benefits the different lines of business that we've got. So let me show you what this makeover looks like on the, the after slides. Folks, we have this hybrid process library and what that allows us to do is it allows us to reassemble different pieces to create what we need. So the first thing we do is we take the different pieces and rearrange them and what we end up with is we end up with a standard set of processes. In this case it's the SOA grid. That's why the process library is so important because it allows us to create that grid. What the grid does is standardize the process of everything that passes through it. That's used by each line of business. Each line of business can leverage that standard set of processes so that they access it in a completely consistent way and that grid then accesses the data repositories to get the required data for that particular line of business wherever it may be. But again because it's always standard it's so much easier for the line of business to increase their efficiency and uh, not have to reprogram things. So you see what I've done in this makeover is I've broken out each of those concepts and presented them one at a time so that we can understand how the concepts build to the final understanding which is probably around why this standard uh, process library is so important because you can assemble it to address many different needs. Here are the lessons that we should learn from this makeover when we're presenting complex diagrams. First of all, understand that there are multiple concepts and you need to subdivide it into those various concepts and present each concept on its own one at a time. Trying to present them all at the same time just is far too confusing and the audience won't get the message or, or worse, they will make up their own understanding which is different than what you wanted them to have. When you're showing each of those uh, concepts one at a time, make sure you create a headline, which you saw at the top of the slide, which gives the diagram meaning and context because now the audience understands exactly why this diagram, this concept is important to them. When you're structuring those concepts in your presentation, build them in some sort of a logical flow or logical order so the, the ideas build on each other like the building blocks in, a, in any sort of a structure. You have to lay the foundation first and then build upon it so that people understand what it means. Complex diagrams are something we all are going to have to deal with. These lessons will hopefully help us to deliver those concepts one by one in a way that the audience can understand. For more information on the book, go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. For more information on my workshops, consulting, and other resources, www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. And if you'd like to learn how to actually create the slides that I did today, take a complex diagram, break it up, move it around, make it make sense. I'm going to do a specific session on how to do that as part of my series of online web training sessions. You can find out all the information at www.29minuteswithdave.com. This has been Dave Parody with another Slide Makeover video podcast.